hi guys we are about to run some errands today i just got done getting ready and i actually like slicked my bangs into themselves because if you guys don't already know i have these little wispy bangs right now i just like slicked them into themselves because they're greasy and they look really bad like styled forward when they're greasy so i'm kind of just pretending i don't have bangs for the moment but they are still there so don't worry and i'm gonna pick up my outfit for the day so i thought i would share a little process of kind of like putting together outfits and planning what looks good together what we're vibing with for the mood and everything so i have a bunch of pieces that i just got in from nasty gal so i'm gonna do a little haul thank you to nasty gal for sponsoring this part of today's video i will obviously link everything in the description box for you guys you can shop it all below and yeah i also have a code for you so i'll leave that here so you guys can get a little discount while you're shopping and i'm just excited to share these cute clothes with you you know clothes are my passion styling is my passion so let's get into some outfits Okay, so when I'm styling a bunch of outfits and trying to come up with options and just get like a idea of where I'm going with the outfits, I like to lay them out on my bed. So I'll just start pulling stuff from my closet, like shoes and accessories and everything. And then I like to just pair them all together kind of in a pile like this. I don't know why, it's just visually it actually helps me a ton. So this is kind of the brainstorm portion of this process for me. So here are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five outfits that I'm considering for just kind of like a casual errands look. So now I will try these on and show you guys how my visions come to life. <laughs> Let's see if it actually works out. You know what I mean? So this is the vision when it's on. Is it a vibe? We'll see. All right. So this is outfit one and I would say this came together pretty well for my vision. I actually really like this outfit. I'm feeling this is a strong contendant so far. So I have these little checkered pants. I got these from Nasty Gal in a size two and they literally fit so perfectly. I'm obsessed with these. Checkers are so in right now and I think that they're so cute. Very flattering. They're kind of like a little bell bottom, high waisted, and I am 5'4 for reference. And then I'm just like a race car driver actually right now because I have on this little NASCAR shirt. And I think this is a little too short for like an oversized look that I was gonna go for. So I kind of wanna cut this shirt like right here, but for now I could just tuck it like this so I can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I think that this would look cuter as like a little crop. I think that looks really cute with this outfit and then I put on these like 90s inspired platform just like slides and my little cheetah bag so there's a lot going on here a lot of patterns but I actually love this I think this is perfect for a little errands day it's really really comfy as well our neighbors are really loud <laughs> All right, so here's the next outfit, and I actually really love this one already as well. So this one is a little more out there, a little more funky, I would say. I mean, the first one was pretty funky too, but it's just a little, it's just a little more out there, I would say. So anyways, this outfit, these shorts are kind of pulling a little more neon on camera than they are. They're like a a true buttery really light yellow color i'll try to put like the econ picture here or something so you guys can see what i'm talking about because they look kind of neon or maybe it's just through this lens and it will look different on the vlog um we'll see but this color is huge right now so i love this kind of like creamy pastel yellow and then i got these in a size two they fit really nicely they're not super tight or anything and they are like longer kind of more modest shorts and then i got this Lionel Richie graphic tee in a size extra large. I ended up just tucking it in obviously so it didn't need to be super long but I just like my t-shirts kind of like big in general so even this extra like sleeve length and width I like. And then these boots, I've been wearing these a lot. I got these in a size seven. So Nasty Gal usually doesn't do half sizes and I'm a seven and a half. So these are seven and they fit well. And then I just paired it with my favorite little vintage Prada bag. And this is like a perfect Aaron's outfit. If you didn't want to be as bold with the shoes and wear boots, it would be really cute with just like sneakers or flip flops. 
sandals as well. All right, so for this one, I just pulled this little romper. I've had this thing literally forever, like probably since college. Um, so it's just a little black romper. And then I tied this super bright green flannel over top and then just paired it with some Balenciagas, some black socks and a little bucket hat. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is also cute like over the top obviously so i like just having this layer you can either tie it around your waist or just wear it kind of like off the shoulder this is perfect for running errands and i think i got this flannel in a size eight so yeah this is just kind of like a comfy cute fit with a little pop of color okay so here is the same pair of pants that i wore in the first outfit i'm just like really obsessed with these so i actually wanted to style them with another look and this is a little bit more of a warm look so if it's a little bit of a colder day i don't know what it's like where you guys live right now but we've been having a lot of windy days that are kind of chilly so this is kind of like a perfect little outfit for that and i think that these pants are literally like the best pattern mixing pants and now i just have them on with sneakers they're a tad bit long on me so like I said I'm 5'4 if I'm not wearing something that's like a platform so maybe I would wear my platform uh, converse with these and it would be better but it looks really cute with sneakers as well and then this like pop of pink I think is so good and just a little shoulder bag so I really like this outfit and then this sweatshirt I think I got this in a size medium and then this is the last outfit. So these pants are also really good. They're kind of a similar t uh, fit to the checkered ones. So kind of just like a little split hem at the bottom, high-waisted. They're kind of like a purpley brown color, kind of like mauve -y. And then I paired them with just like an oversized t-shirt. This purse is also from Nasty Gal. I've been wearing this a lot. It's kind of like 90s vintage inspired little like u-shaped purse and this is just like a neutral kind of like earthy tones mauve outfit so these are all super cute perfect little errand outfits and this is kind of how i piece looks together whether it be for like an instagram post or just an everyday outfit that's kind of a little bit behind the scenes of the process so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and like i said i'll link everything down below and let me know which outfit was your favorite so clayton and i got our vaccine oh man where are we okay clayton and i got our vaccine today so our kind of rest up a little bit our force field is engaged don't f with us Okay. No, no, I mean, I just mean in general, like, just, just everything and anyone, don't f*** with us. That's the energy that we have currently, so. I don't know who needs to hear, but don't f*** with us. And we are going to do some fun things today, so, something I haven't done in a really long time with, um, the climate of the world is, like, blogger events and showrooms yeah, things like showrooms. that so we're not going to um, a blogger event or anything but we are going to a we are going to a um, local jewelry store and it looks really cute like amazing decor and obviously amazing jewelry so I'm gonna bring you guys along there which I feel like is fun because we haven't been doing stuff like that for a while Sorry, I'm posting a story. Okay. Yeah. We are gonna bring you guys along for that, which should be fun. I recently got these sunglasses, and I'm obsessed with them, by the way. This is like a really hard shape to find. It's kind of square. Or it's not square, it's kind of angular, but still round. And I just really like them, so. She loves them. Can't stop talking about them. It's because I just did a story about it. And then I wanted to tell you guys too, in case you missed the story. <laughs> but we're going to get some food and there is a vegan fast food. Second week in a row that we are eating a little vegan burger here for you guys. Yeah. Trying it out. Is it fast food? Yeah, it's like fast food. It's okay. just a burger joint. It's called Nice Guys. It's called Nice Guys. And... Clayton's mom actually told us about these famous 
vegan mozzarella sticks that they have here. Clayton's mom is kind of a foodie and she stays in the know. She does. So she has, she didn't have these um, mozzarella sticks, but she just read about them and heard they're amazing. Somehow so she, yeah, I've done that. they're supposed to be the best vegan mozzarella sticks. And I've actually never had a vegan mozzarella stick. Have you? Uh, you no, have I it. haven't. If I haven't, you haven't. So yeah. We're gonna try that out. Is there a drive-thru? Are we? No, we're going. Okay. So, let's All see right. what this is about. I'll just let you go in, I guess. Okay, what do you want? I don't want to they have all different types of burgers. You want to look at the menu? Okay. Oh, in Santa Ana, they have a drive-thru. Called. I didn't know they had two. Okay, they have a chicken burger that looks exactly like chicken. They look good. Okay. Yeah, they're super good. Remember I told you, they're Paul Bunyan. Yeah. That one looks good. That's a mushroom burger. And those are the chicken wings you No, had? I didn't get those. Oh. I had chicken tenders, I didn't get wings. Or, those aren't wings, they're chicken tenders. Well, those are chicken tenders, I got chicken nuggets. Oh, they have that? Yeah, they do. So that's what their fries look like, they look good. Yeah, good. Okay, I just want that. Do you want the junior nice burger? That sounds like a small one. A smaller burger. Yeah, but no tomatoes, please. Okay. And then the mozzarella sticks. The mozzarella sticks. Should I get chicken nuggets or animal fries? Do you want fries too? No, I don't want fries. You don't want fries? Mm -mm. What the heck Can is I that just try some of yours? Oh, I'll get a normal fries. Animal fries. What does that mean? What? Or no, yeah. Just get normal fries. And chicken nuggets. And mozzarella sticks. Yeah. And burger. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yep. Thanks, babe. Let's do it. I got some really sad news. I don't have the food yet. I got black cherry soda. Ooh, yum, that sounds good. Whoa. How does it taste? Kind of like root Maybe with like pure cane sugar. Anyhow, apparently, what, what, this what? is the backstory on the mozzarella sticks. Now, yeah. I need you to listen. 100%, I, babe, 100 engagement over here. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, so the this. mozzarella sticks. <laughs> okay, no. I'm trying to share a story. Okay, mozzarella. Wait, wait, wait. I need to put my glasses on in case I start crying. Me or too. Something. The mozzarella sticks. Tell me. Are their number one bestseller? Yeah. Like everybody would would come and order it and get mozzarella sticks. Yeah. But the people they got their mozzarella sticks from changed their recipe, and they don't taste as good anymore. So now they're no longer gonna have them. Is that real? Yeah. So why, told me. why would the people do that? I don't know. To make it maybe maybe they wanted to improve their margin or make the item cleaner or something. So they use different ingredients. So we're never gonna know what they taste. But the like. OG ones tasted like, yeah. Was he sad? He's pretty bummed. <gasps> he also told me that animal fried tater tots. Ew. It's his favorite item ever there. And I told him I couldn't do that today. Well, this is so carbonated, it's insane. I feel like I'm drinking like styrofoam or something. From the future. Tater tots kind of freak me out. Yeah, I'm not a big tater. They either. remind me of a blank dynamite. These masks are apparently anti fog, too. Really? Yeah. Um, what is this? Napoleon dynamite eat tater tots? Yeah, I'm not fogging up. That's amazing. No, but you'd have to put it. Yeah, like that. Still not fogging. Yeah, because there's air holes here. Doesn't Napoleon Dynamite eat tater tots? Yeah. I love Napoleon Dynamite, but All I right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the food. I'm freaking sad. I know. So, does he think the other ones are still good? What? Like, they're still sell out, or they're not gonna have any? No, he's not even gonna carry them. He said it's not worth it. <laughs> See, look at these guys enjoying their burger. Should we ask them if they used to have the... <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Still a morning or floss. Flossy the rat. Look at her little burger. This is called the Junior. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> it looks like a Krabby Patty. <laughs> it is. I mean, this is like pretty much a Krabby Patty type of place. Look, I got Chipotle mayo, honey mustard. <gasps> honey mustard. Alert, alert, alert. I love that. Okay, this is cute AF. The nugs are good. They are? Mm-hmm. I enjoy the nugs. 
same. Look at mine. I got the same as last time. The bacon burger. Mmm. They're really good. Isn't it tasty? Mmm. -hmm. Do they use impossible or what? I don't know. Is that cheese? Mm hmm. <laughs> there go. Omelette. <laughs> so, how do you think this compares to Bunny's? To me, they're different. It's mm -hmm. kind of like comparing McDonald's and Burger King. Mm hmm. You know? Mm hmm. Because in the end, they're just different. Mm hmm. Or like Burger King and In and Out or something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just sort of different. This is actually, like, in my opinion, from my recollection, this is kind of like Burger King and Monty's is like In and Out. Mm -hmm. I never this had is a better than Burger, Burger King. It's better than Burger King, though. Like, it's a little bit more, like, obviously not as fast food -y. Like, it's not like that. I really like it. It tastes just like classic. Very classic. I don't think I got pickles. Really? Mm -hmm. Here. What did uh, open yours up a little bit? That's true love. Sacrificing a pickle. It's super good. And it's nice to have a mini burger for you. Mm -hmm. I'll just ask for pickles next time. Mm -hmm. Oh, sauce is really good. So good. I really like it. Want to try bacon? Mm-mm. No? Why not? Sorry, if you guys can see my awful spray tan heels. Everyone is scared. How's the honey mustard? So good. Mmm, really good. Oh yeah. I like this. I like this vibe for me. I'm happy for me. In a weird way, there's a part of me that almost likes it a little bit more than Monty's. It seems a little less heavy. Yeah. I always love Monty's, but uh -huh. it does seem a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Or it's like a patty. Mm -hmm. Show there we them go. the animal fries. Another place with the animal fries. <gasps> mm. They look really good here. They call them animal friendly fries here. <laughs> oh, really? That's a good idea. Love that. I'm being messy. Yep. I'm being she thinks I'm the messy one. <laughs> really? You are. I'm gonna use a fork. There you go. I mean, I haven't had animal fries since 2000. 2000. Just 2000 on the dot. But these say just as good to me. This is just an OC place, yeah? Santa Ana in here. All right, so what do you rate it out of 10? 8.5. 8.5, that's really high remarks from Delaney. How about you? I'd give it a nine. He's an easier sell anyway. Maybe even, <laughs> <laughs> maybe even nine and a quarter. Wow. All right, Marrow, Marrow, I'm coming for you. Wedding yeah. is kind of like that. It's so pretty. I really like that shape. I like the round. What's the most, uh, this like what shape? Me. That's the, the shape the people are doing the most. Well, it's the most prevalent and available shape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oval is pretty. The finger coverage, right? 
Yeah. yeah, oval's really pretty. I like that. So far, I like You're right, it kind of makes, it seems a bigger or something, because it can. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. I like something chunky so like that. Crazy, I don't know. I would do Just that. making stuff up. No, that's okay. nice. That's what got you here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you I like, the, the I like oval that chunky or the, the round? Chunky ring. Oh, the cigar band. Yeah, yeah I like that cool. too. So this one just actually came out today. So I just Look sketched. I just sketched out some poppies. So pretty. Yeah. Look at that. The wow. California poppy band right there. That's that is really so pretty. pretty. Thank you. I hope people like it. We'll see. That's I think cool. So. I think that's a good idea to do a little etching. <laughs> so cool. So fun because it has oh, that one's really pretty. Like these little tab prongs that kind of make it look like she's floating. Oh my gosh, that one's really pretty. Real into her. How many carrots is that? Mm, like that might be three. three. Big. She's big. That's a big. That's a big girl. <laughs> a big girl. She's a big girl. <laughs> I like how the sides are huge. like. Oh yeah, look at that. Like the, the side is like filled in gold. So that's called a closed basket. So that'll be. So this would be like your oh, lowest yeah, profile nice. setting, you know. So it's going to be closest to your body. body so it's so going it to look. Get it's going to look the biggest too, right? Oh. So imagine like. When you wear your skinny jeans, if you still wear skinny jeans, I, I realize no one does that. <laughs> yeah, we're like, not a big <laughs> but like imagine if you have heels on and how your legs look, and then if you wear your flat shoes, how your legs look uh -huh. bigger. Uh huh. It's kind of the same concept where like the closer it is to your body, the it's, bigger it looks. It looks. Okay. And when it's higher, it just like looks like yeah. smaller. Yeah. With really like a little cute. diamond. That's gorgeous. Sometimes they're hard to get, like the metal so reflects pretty. weird. Yeah. I love pinky rings too. I do too. They're, they're, they're hard so to find. Pretty. Totally. This is the only one that actually fits me, I think. So that one looks cute. So, so see like, like the actual, kind of. the way that it's cut? Uh-huh. See how it's like those big broad facets? So this was hand cut in the 1800s by like, wow. a, like before they invented lasers, before they invented the computer technology they have today. So each one is a little imperfect, like, yeah. A guy was just like doing it with yeah. tools, like in a, I don't know, by candlelight. <laughs> I, I don't know. And I'm like, you know, so it's like so fun to just think about. That's wild. Like someone else wore this in a different piece and it's been recycled and like what, yeah. so what was pretty. it in before? And I don't know. Really like you pretty. can kind of. Oh, it's so really pretty. romanticize it. And then oh, here's like another old. antique. That's antique too. Yeah, so she's pretty cool. So you can just kind of tell the difference, right? So this is an antique. Wow. And then this one, maybe I have it. That is one. so pretty. And then this, so that's an antique diamond, and then this is your like traditional cut. Hmm. So, so this is of, a new one? Uh huh. Okay. But you can just kind of tell they just see. sparkle differently. They sparkle different. differently they for just sure. Have, there's something about an antique diamond that just draws you in in a way that I can't. Yeah. Say. It's like, I don't know. Isn't it cool? It is really it cool. It has more character for it sure. Does have more I think character. so, but that, I mean, I'm partial. Wow. Some people might just prefer the sparkle. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Whatever I mean, sparkles totally. the most. Totally. Yeah. 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 We get the request whatever 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 sparkle. sparkle ever floats your boat, for sure. Those are amazing. Fun, right? Really, really pretty. Those are cool. A ruby. Ooh, that's so pretty. In a ballerina type setting. So the ballerina settings were oh, popular in the 20s, that. like Art Deco time frame. Yeah. Ballerina with like how so it has both sides. So that just means like how it has these like different shaped stones going yeah. all the way around it. That's just a tradi traditional yeah. ballerina setting. It's really comfy. They I are, because like. it's curved. It like hugs you a little yeah. bit, yeah. yeah. And see how low she yeah, is. Yeah, look at that, it's yeah. curved. It's Fun. like really comfy. But we do that with diamonds too, like this is a diamond version. Yeah, it is weird because you don't really know until you put them on. Yeah. Like you look at them over there and totally. you're like, oh, I think I like that one. But then, totally. Totally. wow, look yeah. at that one. Someone else's hand or right. on the right. You're like, oh, this is what I want. And right. You're like, Wait, that's not what I thought it was gonna look like. No, it's not weird. That I wouldn't one is think crazy. that. Crazy. That yeah, one's really that pretty. One. That's pretty too. East to west. How popular so just, is that? Yeah. It's more like a cool edgy girl will want that than yeah. like a traditional because it's a little bit of a risk or a dare to like set it the untraditional yeah. way. Yeah, I don't think but I've I, seen that. I yeah, notice the girls that. that choose it like definitely have like... They want to be a little different. <laughs> a cool girl <laughs> yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That I mean like cool. you could definitely... It's cool. You're I can pull it off. You're, pull it off. <laughs> you're, in, you're in that category. <laughs> it gives me like a round look kind of from far away. Yeah. Ready look with 
that that like a lot of finger coverage, you know? So yeah. like you can oh, get yeah, like a really like big wide look, yeah. which I, I like that. I like if you that have too. skinny long fingers. Sometimes people if they have shorter, shorter fingers. fingers, they yeah. they don't wanna sound it's kinda like masculine. The cigar band and the big diamond. Yep. Were you thinking oval <laughs> or were you thinking round more? I was between the oval and the round. Really can't go wrong. Mm. I touched it. Sorry. Well, let's try this. <laughs> this one's round. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so really fun. pretty. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The, I mean, the round is really pretty. So cool. I feel like you can't go wrong with the round. And then the oval is really pretty too. The oval is pretty timeless as well. Yeah. I mean, considering are they, are they the same size? They are, right? Uh, no? that's a. Oh, nope, same size. Okay. Yeah. I feel, I feel like, like that one looks so much bigger. It does. The way it faces up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does oval like kind of it look bigger? It just has bigger. a spreadier look. It's yeah. Spread, it's like a little yeah. bit shallower mm -hmm. and you get more table, which is yeah. the top part that you actually So see. is it a little flatter then? A little bit. Like, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. Yep. Oh my goodness. What is this it's one? It's a big girl. Uh, it's like a three carat with huge side stone pairs. Wow. She's, she's kind of mega. <laughs> That is mega. <laughs> How do those go? Oh, oh yeah. That's, so fun. that's oh, cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's I don't think I've seen ones like that before. Those are cool. That's really cool. And then we can put like a fun. I like how those are like uh, nested. Yeah. yeah. And then lavender, sapphire, and white diamond. Oh, that's so pretty. It's and very unique. Like this one's so pretty. I know. Isn't that cool? Yeah. The shape of that one's fun. This shape is fun too. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That is cool. It's fun, you can just... I mean, <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it really is. It's so cool. Look at this, like, hippie pirate vibe I got on. So, we changed now, and we are actually about to head to the beach. We're gonna relax a little bit. Clayton has a campaign to shoot, because if you guys don't know, Clayton is like an amazing influencer and he is on the rise so look out for him so we're gonna go do that and also just like relax a little bit so i'm bringing my book on the dalai lama and the power of forgiveness or no the wisdom of forgiveness i'm bringing my book too the how to heal your body mm -hmm. oh what's that i'm gonna be reading is this his glasses for his campaign like sure hello what's up everybody you're cool alert you're cool alert um, we're bringing a lemon perfect to the beach because we're obsessed with these. Yeah. If you guys haven't tried these, the perfect, like, refreshing so good. drink. It's not too sweet and it's just really good. Um, like, I messed up my makeup with my mask. But, so the jewelry store was so cool. It was so fun. Yeah. As she was, like, so passionate. The owner, Jillian, <laughs> she was loved it. so passionate about her job, which I love seeing. And she was just teaching us about a bunch about, like, diamonds and yeah. jewelry. And I feel like that was cool to see that, yeah. like, passion really in cool. someone else. Yeah, she loved it. Obviously, it's so cute there. Like, the decor and the everything decor is, is and insane. The... the jewelry was so pretty. Like, as you guys saw, it was amazing. Um, I ended up getting a stack of rings there that was really cool, really unique. But they didn't have my size, so she's going to make them for me. And it's going to take about a month. So, my pointer finger on my right hand is going to get an upgrade. Yep. In about a month. And then she winked Cheers. at me a couple of times when she was trying on those wedding rings. I don't know what that's about, but she winked. I mean, they were gorgeous. Things. She winked. They were gorgeous. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go to the beach. 